Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is a three stages of hell match, and it is for the CWR Women's Championship. Introducing first the challenger from Osaka, Japan. She is the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka. The Empress here, ready to end this final chapter. The war ends tonight. Three stages of hell. Ladies and gentlemen, the first stage is a street fight. Pinfall submissions must take place inside the ring. The second stage is a tables match. The first person to put their opponent through a table wins the match. And if it's needed, the third and final stage is a hell in a cell match. The Empress of Tomorrow, a former women's world champion, of course, she believes she had that title snatched away from her way too early. This rivalry started out as nothing more than a competitive rivalry, nothing more than a than a war between two fierce women. It's now so personal, it needs to be ended this way. Opponent this evening coming to us by way of Panabo City, Philippines. She is the women's world champion, the Pinay Princess, legend Jesse. Once upon a time, undefeated, undefeatable Asuka ended that reign at Battleground. The gauntlet match, Led and Jesse pipped Asuka to the post, but Asuka had been through thin already before she got to the set. So match, a payback, it happened, and Asuka made the champion tap out. At Night of Champions, Led and Jesse stole it right back. And then at Fatality, hell in a cell match, they had, they've already had one. But that's where things went really, really south for these women. That's where things went sour. Because Legend Jesse made it personal by deliberately attacking Asuka, giving her a concussion, taking her out of action for a number of weeks. Now we end it. Title match on the line, and look at that, that star. Both women went for something, both missed the other, and now it's Asuka who gets the back suplex in first. Asuka has something to prove tonight. Asuka has something to prove. You see both women adorned in the colors of their country's flags. Asuka in the red and white of Japan, Legend Jesse, hello the Philippines. Pride in these women, but their pride ends when it comes to the title. Asuka, you see that with that band, the crowd are loving this. Uh, we've got a kendo stick now into the action as Asuka takes one out, but Legend Jesse comes flying in over that top rope, hits the double. Again, no disqualifications, no count outs in this street fight portion of the matchup. However, you can, oh, what am I, what was I saying? I got completely confused there. The break, the match inside. You see Legend Jesse now going hell for leather with that stick. They are going to try and harm one another this evening. Both of these women are going to be trying to pick up us to go to the cell if they can help it. They know that the cell can end a career and will definitely shorten it. And they've already been in one. Let's make the point that tonight, with after nearly, what, two years, will only be the fourth Hell in a Cell match in history, and these women will have been a part of two of them. Of course, the first one was the six-man Hell in a Cell ladder match for the Patriot Championship this time last year. And then, of course, Dolph Ziggler and Kevin Owens went to war inside Hell in a Cell at Apocalypse as well, but these two will have been part of two if they get to the end. Now the table comes into play, but remember this portion is not a tables match. If you're 
your opponent through the table at this point, it won't make a difference. It'll do the damage, but it won't win you the match. Get back from Legend Jesse. Harikara uh, yeah, Harikarana. Now the Panay Princess sees the table. Is she going to do something? She's got the table. And she, in fact, gets rid of the table. She doesn't want the table in the ring right now. And I don't blame her for that. The last thing you really want is for it to be there and waiting if once this match ends. Especially if you're on the losing end of this match. She hung about for Asuka there, but it ended up getting hung up by the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka. I was going to say, she's not going to fly, is she? That would be unusual for her. No, she's just... I know, so much pent-up energy, so much pent-up aggression, I think. Asuka, that double axe hand will miss, and that's the problem here. They are both incredibly emotional going into this matchup. They are going to make mistakes of it. Back into the ring goes the Empress. Legend Jesse can fly. We've seen her fly many times. Off the top rope with that knee. Absolutely crushing the skull of Asuka as she goes flying through her. The princess backbreaker, neckbreaker combination. The women's world champion is in control of it. She really wants to end this one early. There's another knee. That time was the left one. Almost a Kinshasa-style knee off the middle rope. We've got a cover here in the middle of the ring. There's one, two. No, Asuka still has something left in the tank. Of course she does. You've got to conserve some strength, but you also want to win early. There is no right way to do a three stages of hell, ladies and gentlemen. If I was in there, I know I would be trying to end this one early to try and eliminate some of the expenditure because then even if you do end up going to the third round, but the problem is... You don't want to rush it. You don't want to make a mistake. You don't want to get caught because losing this first one puts you at severe disadvantage for the rest of the match. Legend Jesse up to the top rope. Comes down with a body splash, but Asuka sees it coming. Asuka now straight to the boots, straight to the kick. Another one right to the spine. Slowing the pace down somewhat is the, is the Empress of Tomorrow. And that is to her style to do this at a fast pace. She wants to do this at a very deliberate pace. The strikes are better when they're aimed. Bobby Splash off the middle. It connects, does the job. Snap suplex by Asuka. Floats into the cover. There's one, two, not quite. Of course, Legend Jesse's feet. The ropes there, but there are no rope breaks. In a street fight. On time to really take advantage of that, which means some of the more devastating do out of a corner usually cause trouble. Oscar's still in control now as we come back in there, slamming the arm into the canvas. That is nothing than personal, though, of course, could help Oscar if she was to try and lock in. The Asuka lock or even the arm breaker. So a little bit more strategy to that than I first thought, thinking about it. She's still continuing to wear the Panay Princess down. That's exactly what she's got to do. But Legend Jesse not having any of it. There's the arm drag. There's the running knee. Asuka is down. Where's, where's the chicken now? I thought she was going to go for another springboard attack. No, she's looking under the ring for a toy. And we have a steel chair, ladies and gentlemen. Nice and simple. Gets the job done. Legend Jesse waiting on the outside there. Waiting for Asuka to get to her feet, maybe. No. Nope. Changes her mind about the chair. Sees a different opportunity. Goes to the top rope instead. There's a big crossbody block. Down goes Asuka. Into the cover. There's one. Two. No. Asuka. Still able to get the shoulder up. Still got some fight left in her. That's the Empress. You know, it's great for her, but she really needs to concentrate. Legend Jesse knocks her down to the ground, over the top rope, shooting star press off the top. My God, that was stunning. And now the chair. To perfection. That shooting star press was absolutely stunning. And one of the highest risk moves I've ever seen. 
DDT right onto the steel, right onto the outside. Oscar, we we had a history of head problems, of concussions. Legend Jesse is trying to exploit that by the looks of things. We see a frog splash right into the small of the back there. She's going to set her up. There's a kick. A straight kick round the side of the skull. And we saw in the Patriot Championship match just how devastating a single blow can be. But the Emerald Cutter is the... We've got one... Two, three. Legend Jazzy wins the first match. The first match is done, and now as we set up some tables around the ringside, you see them there. The match continues on, and look at Legend Jazzy Oscar, obviously up in the corner, ready to start the match again. We'll start the second portion of the match. Got Legend Jesse now on the top row. Going to continue the pressure. Going to continue to try and deliver some damage to that skull. Snap suplex there by the Panay Princess. And right now, Oscar, in my opinion, is in serious trouble. Lethal combination. Snap back. Sent on. The challenger is in serious trouble. Legend Jersey with that emerald cutter has put Oscar off balance. Now the Empress is just unable to fight back. Knocked to the ground. She's going to go for the guillotine slingshot. Yes, she is. Right across the throat. If Oscar wasn't struggling already, she's now struggling for breath. This is insane. And now Legend Jersey, after pushing a table out earlier, brings one in, knocks Oscar down with that table. Places it into the corner. The Pinna Princess is obviously ready to win this one. But look at Oscar. Oscar's got her. Back suplex. Through the table. It's over. Oscar wins the second round. How the hell did that happen? You blinked and missed that. It's just out of nowhere. Just two seconds of Legend Jesse not paying attention to the match. Oscar gets her. Puts her through the very... The Pinna Princess has just set up. So here we go. The third round is necessary and it's time to get it on hell in a cell you hear the bell it's underway and straight away oscar now feeling a little bit more confident after that that almost fluky win in the tables match gonna go right after the panay princess and look at oscar now oh my god right in to the steel Asuka waiting on the middle rope there. I don't know, quite know what she was planning there. The way Legend Jesse makes it back into the ring and makes her pay without running STO. <laughs> Princess for the favor. Asuka goes crashing into the steel. Legend Jesse up oh, knees. We've seen her use those already tonight, and they are working to great effect right now. You've got to be so careful in this cell. These two women know the perils of the Hell in the Cell. As I mentioned before, they have been inside one already, but Asuka was not 100% in that matchup. So yeah, Legend Jazzy trying to rip the arm out of the socket of Asuka. Asuka rolls it through. It's about the only thing she could have done. Twists it out, saves herself. Straight rights there, trying to throw the Panay Princess off balance. Oscar with the knees, and then that's where Oscar really does have the advantage is the striking capability. Into the cell goes Oscar. A German suplex right down on that floor. Of course, the match must end inside the ring in this one. These women are spending a lot of time outside of the ring currently. But there's a lot of damage that can be done. I mean, you can win almost by accident in a tables match. And that, like, what is what? That's what Asuka did. 
but you can't keep that up, you know. Steel chair in hand now, strikes her right across the skull. Legend Jazzy crashes into the steel mesh as she goes down as well. The damage is going to be done, and I tell you something, it doesn't matter who walks out of this one, neither are leaving the same as they walked in. They are already battered, they are already bruised, and yet now they are in the cell. It's the champ who has the advantage right now into the cell mesh. Goes Asuka face first, trying to follow up with the clothesline, didn't quite work out. See Asuka now has been delivered to the other side of the cell and Legend Jez is going to get into the ring. She's going to go for it. Nope. Baseball slide. Not quite what she was planning, I don't think. <laughs> There's the double knees. Just continuing the pressure on and Legend Jazzy doesn't seem to care about her own health right now. She just wants to continue to deliver more and more punishment to Asuka. Over the top. Frog splash. Whatever she was going for there, Asuka wasn't having any of it and has hit a strike of her own. And now Asuka going to try and turn this thing around. Legend Jazzy dumped over the top rope. She hangs on. Asuka reintroduces her to the ring pretty quickly there. Once again, in, in this time, into the corner, should I say. Out of the corner. Where's Asuka going now? She doesn't often hit the ropes. She's going to here. Drop kick right to the face. This is so back and forth. It's unbelievable. It doesn't seem to me like at any point we have a definitive idea of who's actually going to win this thing. Dumps her over the top. Legend Jesse back on the outside. Oscar follows her out. Can continue on the pressure as the Empress. An arm breaker right across the shoulder and into the mesh once again. That wasn't just the face, that was the whole body crashing with force. Now the steel chair, Asuka, a little bit of payback. Just again and again and again with the steel, Asuka is not done. There's a take over there by the Empress. Effects of this match starting to wear, obviously. Starting to slow down these women a little bit. Asuka with those straight rights, though. And look at that spinning back heel. Went for the back fist, missed it. This time got it, though. Legend Jazzy, too stunned. So just keeps at it. There's a leg sweep. Simple. Effect. And Jesse is in trouble as Asuka's going to try and rip that arm out of that socket. Doesn't matter though, even if the princess was to on the outside, it wouldn't doesn't count. It's not ropes. The princess did manage using the other arm to deliver some punish to Asuka. But Asuka is an internal mesh once again. He's going to be hurt. And down onto the steel there with that back suplex. Legend Jesse now is not moving. That was impactful. Right up. The princess tries to get to it. It's on the outside. It doesn't make any difference. It doesn't make any difference. Legend Jesse taps out. So I think it's forgotten. He taps out. The match is over. I think it's just says the mistake she made there. The princess put herself any further harm by Asuka into believing she'd match. That was either genius or she just tapped out and such was such. But you never know. Get too much thing there and Asuka is only going to take advantage of it. Concentrate on the match at hand, girl. This is already one of the most devastating contests I've ever seen. Crucifix. Dreambreaker! But again, she finds herself.
Now Legend Jersey, she's got the steal once again. She's going to throw it back down on the ground. Maybe she's got an idea of what to do with it. She's actually, no, I thought she was waiting for Asuka then. Changes her mind. Picks up the steal once again and cracks her across the skull with it. Asuka once again to her feet. Still trying to recover from that dream breaker. Sent across. Sent across the floor there. The May Princess. Emerald Cutter! But again, it's on the outside. You want to be inside the ring to win this thing. Legend Jazzy goes straight for the knee to the skull. Kind of try and compound the damage. Where's she going now? In to the steel bar. The steel pole. Legend Jazzy isn't done. I thought she was going to try and end it then. Going to get Asuka into the ring. No, maybe she is again. Again off that top rope, again with the frog splash, the damage just compounding on Asuka now, we've got a cover, there's one, there's two, Asuka somehow rolls the shoulder up just as the two count hits, but Legend Jezzy is not phased, she is not bothered, she is feeling confident as anything tonight, drop kick. goes to wrench that arm again pulling on it she may be looking for a submission of her own these two know each other so well that they know it's not easy to put the other one down there's that kick again right around the side of the skull as Ed said earlier it could end the match if it's placed correctly Oscar has taken a lot of blows to the head the emerald cutter the dream breaker all those steel chair shots the knees everything else there's an elbow Right to the torso, just for a little bit of extra damage. There's one, two. Oscar once again kicks out just before the two count. I don't think she wants to risk leaving it till three. I don't think she wants to risk getting the full amount of the referee's count because she is damaged enough that she may miss it. She may misjudge it. She may not be able to find the strength. She throws it, but there, Oscar. Straight kick there, and now she's taking control of this matchup. So back and forth that when it looks like one of these women has broken the other one, the other one finds a way back. Legend Jersey once again finds herself dumped out to the outside. Asuka going to step through the ropes. Down she goes. This match is not over yet. Not allowing the Panay Princess to recover too much. Asuka goes out there. She knows she's got to get the damage done. The steel comes into play once again. She's got the double chicken wing suplex there. Another kick, utilizing those strikes to such great advantage. The spinning back fist. Once again sent across the, across the floor into the steel on the opposite side. Asuka pulls her back. Another right, a left, a right into the steel and again so much punishment so much animosity in this one i think that was either was that a german or a double uh, the chicken win suplex again i'm not entirely sure either way it doesn't really matter the damage was done and now once again going for that armbar once again she is not going to win on the outside legend jesse pulls it through She's find a way out of that one straight rights to the skull to dip that for her Asuka continuing on though, she's not wanting to give up this advantage, she's not wanting to give this up, and look at this guillotine, now locked in from Asuka, Asuka guillotine locked in, once again she makes the Panapas tap, right now after making her tap, Asuka straight up to the top rope, what is she going to do here, <laughs> um, that didn't work out, whatever it was, Asuka may have stunned herself a little bit there, don't quite know what she was planning there, but it didn't work out. And now Legend Jezzy, who once again has tapped out, but is still not done. And Dreambreaker connects once again on the outside. The Dreambreaker once again gets, gets the job done. It's a big knee. 
And now Legend Jesse, she's setting her up against the steel. Oh my god, she's through! Um, well, the cell is meant to contain, and this one hasn't as the spear sends Asuka crashing through the cell wall. They now can escape the cell. Asuka sent into the cell on the inside again, but this time, no, Asuka is not. Legend Jesse is out, and she's climbing, and this is where things get dangerous. Legend Jesse waiting for Asuka, it seems like. Begging Asuka to come up there and join her. She's begging the Empress to get up there. Oh, this is not going to be good. Whatever happens now, it is not going to be good. They are 20 feet in the air above that cell. That steel mesh is unforgiving. There's some exchange of words going on now. Look at Asuka straight in crucifix. Down onto that steel. And can you see it buckle? Can you see it buckle under the impact? Sends her back across and you do not want to fall down. That is 20 feet. 20 feet. It is going to damn near kill you. Asuka suplex. But every move you do on that cell. Yes, it hurts your opponent, but it hurts you too. There is no give, no protection, no padding, no nothing. It is just steel great. This is how far these women have come. This is how far they are willing to go. Asuka now sending the Pinay Princess dangerously close to the edge of that cell there. Asuka makes her way to the edge there. What's she going to do? This looks dangerous. Asuka, what's she planning on here? Asuka has a... She's not going to... She has! Oh my god! Legend Jesse shoved off the side of the cell, crashes through the announce table below. This, ladies and gentlemen, is women's wrestling at its finest. This, ladies and gentlemen, is what these women are willing to do. Legend Jesse just rolling over. Now, Asuka drops down. I can't believe, even assisted, that the champion is standing. Even more impressive still, she's not just standing, she's fighting, she's climbing. She's just been thrown 20 feet off the top of that cell. 20 feet off the top of that cell and she is back on top. And Legend Jazzy, no way, no way, no way, Asuka goes down! And there's less of a fud there, less of a crash even, because the announce table was already in pieces. Unbelievable, the Panay Princess, hang on, hang on, leg drop! Leg drop from the top, that... How are they moving? How are they walking? How are they not dead? What? I can't even believe they're not even needing to be seen by medical staff I can't Asuka is fighting back and she's climbing up again both of these women have been thrown from the top Legend Jersey coming down 20 feet with a leg drop landing on her tailbone for the love of god how is she not broken in half running to another DDT and that cell has just collapsed underneath them the peril does not stop. These women are going to die here tonight, ladies and gents. I, I, I don't even know if I can watch. This is insane. Legend out! My God, she's just crashed to the ground. She's just... And Asuka, Asuka is not done. Asuka! The running hip attack. Enough is enough. End this. Referee. End this. Now. Oh, Legend Jersey still somehow getting to her feet. But Asuka has it locked in. This time in the middle 
of the ring. Middle of the ring and she taps. It's over. I know I should feel different right now, but I'm just so glad that this is over before one of these women kill each other, but that is what this meant to them. That is what this championship, this rivalry meant to them. The war has ended. And it's ended with the Empress of Tomorrow standing atop the women's division in championship wrestling revolution. Legend Jersey taps out in the middle of the ring and it's all over. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner and the new CWR Women's World Champion, the Empress of Tomorrow, Oscar. It's over, and Oscar stands aloft. She's standing, ladies and gentlemen. She is standing. How? I don't know. But they've done it. She's done it.